What would a world without cats look like? What happens if you swallow gum? It's the random questions like these that keep me up at night. <laughs> Maybe you too. So today, I'm here to answer them. And if I miss any of your most burning questions in today's video, then ask away down in the comments. I'll be sure to cover them the next time. For now, let's start with number 1. What happens if you drink too much water? Turns out, water intoxication is a real thing, and it's very serious. Your kidneys can only process 27 to 33 ounces of water an hour. If someone drinks more than that, then it can cause swelling in their entire body, including the brain. Classic example of too much of a good thing can be bad. Number 2. What happens when you swallow gum? I bet your mom told you not to do it because that gum would stay in your stomach for 7 years. But that's not actually true. It's only 5. No, not really. Most gum today is made from natural or synthetic polymers, most commonly butyl rubber. Sure, your saliva enzymes and stomach acid can't break it down. But the muscles of your digestive tract move it along, and eventually gum exits your system in a day or two, in the normal way. And uh, if you can blow bubbles doing, you know, that, well hey, we'd like to hear about it. Okay, and moving on. Number 3. What can happen if you step on a rusty nail? Well, you'd most likely scream at the top of your lungs because of the sharp, intense pain. But what would happen next? You've probably heard by now that getting injured by any rusty object can lead to tetanus. Tetanus is caused by bacteria known as blah 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 blah. Ah, you were paying attention! <laughs> no, really, it's known as Clostridium tetanae, which is commonly found in soil, dust, and animal feces. All ideal places for rusty objects to be found. Maybe minus the animal poo, but who knows. Anyway, when this bacteria enters your body through the wound, it releases a powerful toxin that affects your nervous system and leads to stiff muscles, difficulty swallowing, and spasms. But don't worry, a tetanus shot kills the bacteria in no time. Number 4. What if gravity suddenly got turned off? Things that aren't attached to the Earth in any way would fly off into space. Yes, including people and animals. Trees in most buildings would stay put because they're rooted in the ground, so you could probably hold on to one of those. But that wouldn't keep you out of trouble because our planet itself would most likely break apart into chunks and float off into space, since it's only held together by gravity too. So it's just not your day. Number 5. What if all cats just disappeared? Your lazy, sleepy feline friend is actually a really important member of the global ecosystem. Without cats, Earth would quickly become overrun by rodents. Mice and rats would spread disease, wipe out ground-nesting birds, and probably destroy grain supplies. So it might be true that we feed the cats, but without them, we'd have less food ourselves. Don't tell your cat this, though. It'll only inflate his ego that much more. Number 6. What would happen if the Earth lost oxygen for 5 seconds? Hold your breath! Since oxygen in the air protects our skin from UV light, we get sunburns right away. Also, oceans would evaporate because water is one-third oxygen. Not to mention, all concrete buildings would collapse because oxygen is an important binder in these constructions. The sky would also turn black even during the daytime, since there wouldn't be enough particles to scatter blue light. Ooh, that was a scary one. Number 7. What if the internet stopped working for one day? A whole day without cat memes? My worst nightmare! But seriously, a day without the internet would really hit the financial sector. Credit cards and online banking would stop working, because banks wouldn't be able to access and verify information. Also, the stock market would most likely shut down, and you'd have to say goodbye to online shopping. Adding to this problem, transportation, since traffic lights that are run by computers rely on the internet for updates. Yeah, it'd be a major ordeal. By the way, can you go a whole day without using the internet? Let me know down in the comments. Ah, uh, you neither, huh? Number 8. What if you didn't wash your hair for a year? 
Well, obviously, your hair would get really greasy and probably smelly too. Also, since the skin of your scalp won't be protected by any products, your hair will become home to dust and other pollutants in the air like soot. But that's not the worst part. No, no, no. The absence of regular washing will lead to scalp inflammation, which will most likely result in dandruff. So, scratching your stinky, dirty head would become your new, not-so-favorite pastime. Hmm, maybe skipping on the shampoo for that long isn't the best idea after all. Number 9. What would happen if you ate 50 boiled eggs in one sitting? Ah, you saw Paul Newman do it in Cool Hand Luke 2, didn't you? Well, if you manage to stuff so much food in you, then you'll obviously feel really full since 50 eggs have about 3,800 calories. It takes a lot of time for your digestive system to break down eggs, and you definitely wouldn't feel very good afterwards. And get ready for the worst hydrogen sulfide gas you've ever experienced. Or, simply speaking, farts. I don't know about you, but I'd rather not find out what that would be like. Number 10. What if the Earth stopped spinning twice as fast? The most obvious consequence would be our day lasting not 24 hours, but only 12. And the day already feels short enough as it is, right? But that's not all. Mm -mm. The surface of our planet would become quite unrecognizable, since Indonesia and most of the northern part of South America would go totally underwater. Africa would also split into two separate islands. This is all because the planet's centrifugal force would increase, leading to the water level at the equator rising by 328 feet. All this water at the equator would result in a huge rise in humidity that would cause a permanent band of fog to appear. Also, we'd have much more severe hurricanes that would spin in increased speeds too. Mm, not something to look forward to now, is it? Number 11. What if we all jumped at the same time? There are over 7 billion people on our planet, and their combined weight is roughly 800 billion pounds. Now, that's pretty hefty. So, could all that mass affect the Earth in some way if we all jump simultaneously? Science says no. All of our liftoffs and impacts would cancel each other out, resulting in zero net force on the Earth. Alright then, I guess it'd be a waste trying. But still, I wonder if it'd be loud. Number 12. What if we had no moon? Without the stabilizing effect of the moon, our planet would start to spin more quickly, even faster than that scenario I just told you about. This would lead to two things. First, a day on Earth would last only about 8 hours, which would mean there would be more than, let's say, a thousand days in a year. Second, our climate would change drastically resulting in extreme temperatures and seasons. And, of course, since there'd be no moon to pull down on them with its gravity, there'd be a big drop in the difference between high tides and low tide levels. The loss of gravitational pull from the moon would also cause the core of our planet to shift a bit, creating different natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanoes. But, alas, we have our big bright moon up there to keep everything in order. So which of these answers impressed you the most? Sound off in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click that subscribe button to always stay on the bright side of life.